Hey guys, Amanda here today with three tips uh, for beefing up the waterproofing on your tent um, based on uh, three specific issues that you'll, um, you're likely to encounter um, as your tent uh, gets older and um, with um, extended periods of use. So there are three different ways to um, kind of beef up the waterproofing on your tent um, according to the specific issue that you might be having. So issue number one um, that's common to encounter are uh, leaky seams. So if you notice that your seams are starting to leak, um, the solution is going to be to reseal those seams. So you're going to want to apply um, new seam sealer to your tent seams to help keep the moisture from seeping through. And you're gonna wanna do this um, at home um, on a dry tent. Uh, issue number two, another common issue is noticing flaking off of the polyurethane kind of inside your rain fly or perhaps on your tent floor. So when you start to notice that, you might want to think about refreshing the urethane coatings on the inside of your rain fly and the floor of, the, of your tent as those are your primary barriers against uh, moisture. So um, it's better to be proactive than, than wait too long to uh, refresh the urethane coating on your tent. And one thing to note is that not all tents are coated with urethane, so you want to double check and really um, do some research on the kind of tent that you have. For example, tents uh, made from Dyneema are going to uh, require a, a different approach than um, a urethane uh, coating. So you wouldn't want to put urethane on a Dyneema tent, for example. Um, a common uh, third issue that you may encounter is that you might notice uh, eventually over time the rain uh, no longer starting to bead up on the outside of your tent. Um, so typically when it rains, um, that protective barrier on your rain fly actually causes the water to bead up and roll off. So when that starts um, to, when you start to notice the beading not happening anymore, it's time to refresh your DWR, so your durable waterproof uh, repellent, which is the coating on your rainfly. So a durable water repellent coating helps your rainfly shed water and may need um, some refreshing. So uh, you'll want to do that uh, to your rainfly if and when you start to notice that issue. So quickly to recap, um, three tips for beefing up the waterproofing on a tent according to uh, the three most common issues you may encounter. Um, tip number one, addressing any leaky seams. Um, to solve this problem, you're going to want to reseal those seams with a um, outdoor specific seam sealer to help the moisture keep from seeping through. Issue number two is when you may notice um, the flaking off of the urethane coating on the inside of your rain fly and or your tent floor. Um, so that's when you know it's time to refresh the urethane coating on your tent with an outdoor specific um, type of tent coating. And you want to double check and make sure that your tent does have a urethane coating and doesn't require a different kind of specialized um, waterproofing. Um, in which case uh, you'll have to use a different product. Issue number three, when you notice the rain on the outside of your rain fly is no longer beating up like it used to, um, um, it might be time to refresh your durable water repellent. So the DWR coating on your rain fly. Um, so this coating is what helps your rain fly actually bead and shed off the water. So um, it's always an overall better to be uh, proactive than wait too long um, and potentially risk uh, damaging your tent long term from uh, too much moisture, seepage, and buildup. So I hope you found these tips useful. Um, I'd love to hear if you guys have any other additional tips for addressing waterproofing issues on tents. Um, or if there's one of these that uh, you enjoyed in particular or uh, addressed a situation that perhaps you're experiencing right now. And as always, I, I welcome any feedback um, and comments uh, in the comment section below. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like connecting with other outdoor enthusiasts, you should definitely consider checking out Summit. 
Summit is a social network that brings together adventure junkies from all around the world to exchange stories, share advice, and inspire each other. You might even make some new friends too. It's kind of like Facebook for outdoorsy people, but with better privacy, no ads, no spam, and tons of extras. You can join Summit by going to summit.theadventurejunkies.com or by clicking the link in the description below. You can find me in Summit too, so be sure to say hi when you join. Thank you.